Rain, make it rain, girl, make it. Hi, my name is David Cash. Welcome to my channel. I'm a photographer, I'm a director, and I do a bunch of different jobs within the entertainment, fashion, creative industries. Lately, I've heard a lot of people speaking online and in person about fashion magazines becoming antiquated and that people should not submit to them anymore. And I kind of wanted to put my two cents in on this issue. As a fashion photographer, I've actually found submitting and getting published in magazines very beneficial to my career. So I just want to speak on that a little bit and give some insight into why I think you should still be submitting to fashion magazines even in 2018. So the first thing a lot of people are bringing up is that traditional media is completely outrun by social media, and I totally agree. Social is where it's at right now, most of the viewership is there, 100%. Uh, if you're posting on Instagram and you're trying to get hashtags, that's incredibly beneficial to your career, no matter what type of photographer you are. But if you're a fashion photographer who wants to get represented, who wants to shoot with agency models, getting published in fashion magazines is very beneficial to you. A lot of the people who read these fashion magazines, even though it isn't necessarily the masses, especially the print ones, the people who are getting published or are buying them, the people who work in the industry, agents, casting directors, people who own other magazines, people who own fashion shows, you know, it's a very niche industry thing, especially for all the print magazines, apart from like, you know, Vanity and Vogue and things that are more widely distributed. But there's actually a huge benefit to that because it's almost like you're you're directly sending your work to your target market, right? Instead of getting a bunch of likes on Instagram because your photo's cool, you're getting some art director in Milan saying, oh wow, that's a beautiful photo, and maybe he will follow you online. Also, even though a lot of these traditional publications do have print magazines, a lot of them alongside that have huge websites with large viewerships, blogs, you know, Instagram accounts, Tumblrs, and you can't discount that. I submitted once to this small Irish print magazine and they happened to have a blog associated with it under the same name. And their blog had over 400,000 monthly readers. And in situations like that, my main benefit, yes, I'm getting the niche audience from the print magazine, and then I'm also getting that wider audience from their readership online. When you have those blogs, when you have those websites associated with these magazines, they can directly link to your Instagram, to your website, you can get bookings directly through that. So I actually find that personally very beneficial. Now I do understand that not all types of photography are necessarily treated equally within this kind of atmosphere. I'm speaking very much specifically towards fashion photography. I'm a fashion photographer, I like shooting people in clothes. That's the vibe of shots that I do. Maybe if you're a headshot photographer, or a landscape photographer or especially a kind of event photographer maybe this is not the right thing for you and that's fine that's valid you know you can get a great career out of going to concerts and shooting for rappers and shooting for musicians and that's awesome support that but if you want to be a fashion photographer maybe posting that photo on instagram will not be as beneficial if you're shooting post malone yeah totally post that on instagram it might go viral but if you're shooting a fashion editorial it, it's going to get a lot more local niche if you submit it to a fashion magazine or something else and ultimately even though some people will discount vanity magazines those magazines where you have to buy them once you're in them i personally they don't pay to be published, so I'll never kind of get into a situation where it's like, pay a $20 submission fee and then you can get published. I don't like that. If I want to buy a magazine after I'm published, if I like the way that they've laid it out in the space and I want to put that within my portfolio, then I'll buy it. And I think that's fine. And also at the same time, I think a lot of the responsibility is on you. A few people are speaking out against that a lot of these are for-profit magazines, you know, they don't care about photographers, blah, blah, blah. I think it's your job as a photographer to vet that, unless you have an agent who's doing this for you or a manager. I think it really is your job to vet that yourself. Now, I get into publications sometimes like Vanity Teen, large French magazine. And those are all magazines, you know, with following, with, with websites, with social media, and that can be beneficial. But yes, there are totally tons of sketchy sites, you know, there's also sketchy Instagram feature pages and sketchy websites. It's all kind of in the same umbrella, so I think it's really just uh, using your prerogative and being smart about it. I think a lot of people who are speaking out against people who are getting published are the same people who are not getting published. Now, I'm not being shady here, I just think a lot of people are giving up really early. A lot of people talk about this online, you know, like stick to it and that's blah blah blah, you know, just keep trying until you get it. But I think this really is the most valid within the creative industry, at least in my personal experience it has been. But for film festivals, for magazine submissions especially, you know, I'll generally submit an editorial to two magazines, if not 10 or 12, before it gets published. And you know, sometimes these editorials get in larger magazines. Like I said, I just got one in Vanity Teen last month, and that was great. But uh, that same editorial got rejected from the previous magazine that I submitted it to. It's very hit or miss in that kind of circumstance, just because you're not only submitting your work, you want to submit your work to the look and feel of that specific edition of that magazine. So so even if they may like your work, it may just not be right for that specific thing. So hopefully you guys understand that. So I just say don't give up. If you want to be published in fashion magazines, just keep doing it. You know, there's a ton of platforms, there's a bunch of different ways you can be doing that, people you can be emailing. If you guys want, I might make another video kind of about how I submit to magazines, just because I'd be doing quite well this year. I got published, I think, 20 times so far this year, which I'm very happy about. But don't stop submitting. If that's what's holding you back and that's what's kind of giving you this edge against fashion editorials, then create one editorial, collaborate with a few people who you're really passionate about, make something that you care about, tell a story, you know, through your images and submit it until it gets published. And uh, don't stop because if you really care about this, the only person that's stopping you is yourself. Rain.
make it. So yeah, I can talk it. about being a driven, creative person all day. But uh, speaking of, I have to get back to work. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope it was semi-insightful. If you guys want to see something else, uh, make sure to leave a comment down below. Maybe a couple ideas of what you guys would like to see. I'm going to try to be posting on here a little more often. Uh, if you haven't yet, please make sure to follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram and a few other things at Shop by Cash. And you can also follow my clothing line and uh, check that out at Customs. You know, there's a website. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. You can like this video if you want to. Leave me some hate comments down below. And uh, yeah, uh, until next time, go submit that magazine or something. Thanks for watching. Bye. So free. Mother Russia in my cup and my glass is fogging up. Oh yeah, hey dog, hey what's up? Oh yeah, hey dog, hey what's up? When the sweaty walls are banging, I don't fuck with family planning. Make it rain, girl, make it rain, make it rain, girl, make it rain.